I am gonna go through my analytics for the three month period where I gained like 600,000 views and you know, like 13,000 subscribers. And I'm gonna show you that in my analytics. I'm gonna show you the day before one of my videos got picked up, how many views I had. I'm gonna show you the whole run. I'm gonna show you what I made through that run, which it was surprisingly a lot more money than I thought I was gonna make. I didn't think that I was gonna make as much as I did, and it was pretty surprising. So I'm gonna share that. I'm gonna, I'm gonna just kinda show you everything. So here is basically from when I first started my videos, the very first videos I uploaded here, up until right before the algorithm picked me up. Uh, my my highest views for the day ever was 18 there, like nine, almost 1900, right? And it was doing good. I was really happy with my channel. I got monetized in November. I have a video where I talked about how much I made in my first month. I'll link that up above. And I I, I was just, you know, super stoked to start making a little bit of money on YouTube. And I was really, really just trying to keep making videos. And then I saw a topic that I thought could be trendy and I put that video together last minute and that's the video that took off for me. And that was right, right here. All right, so this is from the day I started my channel up until December 7th or December 6th of 2020. Let's check out December 6th through March 6th we, because that's gonna be like the first day that my video got picked up and to when I think that my, my channel started cooling down after the run from the algorithm. And you can see here, this peak is giant. If I zoom out and I show you the lifetime of my channel, you'll see that this peak right here is giant. Um, but then I just, I just started getting a ton of views. I released the White Hat Junior video, which was this one right here on the 8th. And it took off instantly and it started getting me a ton of views, it brought me in a hundred thousand views. It was, it was, it was crazy because I hadn't had a video do that yet. I was really worried that I was bringing in a bunch of subscribers from a video that I released on the last minute that had nothing to do with what my channel was about. And I was scared that it was going to hurt my channel, but I kept making videos obviously. And I didn't ride the white hat junior wave. I actually was scared to ride that wave up until I, you know, towards the end of my run when I saw that my channel wasn't like continuing to go up. And when I started, I saw that it started to level out, I made another White Hat Junior video, but I didn't catch it in time. I should have made another one right away. And the reason why I say I should have made another one right away because it actually brought in a ton of subscribers from that one video. But what happened was it triggered the algorithm to start recommending more of my upcoming videos that I released after that big video. And the videos that I released weren't anything special. They, they, were, they were me talking about learning how to code. One of them that did really well was the why programmers fail. And I, I released a bootcamp video that did okay at that point. I did a video about free websites to learn how to code on. And I, I, they had nothing to do with the white hat stuff, but it seemed that the algorithm was pumping my videos. So mind you, before we got to this point from the beginning of my channel to, to this day, the 6th of December, I had about 100,000 views on my channel total with like 7,000 watch hours. Between December 7th and you know March 6th or whatever you see here, my channel got 600,000 views I gained 13,000 subscribers and I made $3,000. And the watch time was insane. I can't believe that that actually happened. But what's going on now is what's kind of bumming me out because now it's at this slowdown. So if I zoom out and you see the lifetime of my channel, you know, this, this was December 7th, right before the algorithm picked me up or picked up that one video. And then this, this was through the pumps. It just, I had some really good days. It would dr drop down. I'd release some videos. Another video would do really well. And it was just like this roller coaster of ups and downs. And then towards the end of February and March, things just got really quiet. 
and during my move in March, I was posting different videos and I, I'm honestly, I'm still in, the, in, a, in a position where I'm just trying to get content out because I'm not in my home. I, I'm living at my in-laws house. I'm using like a, a spare room for the office and I don't really have my setup and it's kind of hard to record without my stuff. So I've just been trying to get content out and then I tried to pump out, you know, 30 days of vlogging in April and that wasn't going to happen. I did it for 10 days and almost burnt out. So my channel is just kind of like, like really just quiet now. And, and here you have it. These are my numbers. This is what I've made so far with 18,000 subscribers. I, I, you know, most of my money happened right when I got monetized. I, I made like 200 bucks in November, if I'm not mistaken. And then, you know, it just went up and up from there. And I have one of my videos that just does amazing that makes me a ton of money and I'm probably gonna blur some of these out and I apologize, but I don't want you guys to know exactly what videos make me the most money because maybe if too many people make videos on that, it wouldn't make me so much money. So I'm not gonna try to have you guys copy that, which I don't think you will, but whatever. I'm gonna blur it out for my own peace of mind. But you can see how much I made every month and January was by far my biggest month. That month was huge. When I saw those numbers, I was just like, I'm going full time on YouTube, that's it. Well, the truth is I was just, it was just a good run on the algorithm, but I'm still making decent money on my channel and I'm doing way better than I thought this channel was gonna do. I honestly was expecting my YouTube channel to bring me in like 20 to 50 bucks a month if I was lucky. And when I got my first month and I made almost 200 bucks in November, I was stoked I made a video on it. And when I when I saw December and that video went up and and and, just crazy numbers on my channel. I was really stoked. And then, you know, I, I, I thought I was going to just go viral and, and be the next, you know, awesome tech YouTuber. But um, it seems like the algorithm had other plans. And now as my channel cools off and I don't know what YouTube's going to have in store for me the next time a video takes off, you know, my new normal seems to be much higher than it was leading up to the first run that I had. It seems like now since I have more subscribers and people are watching my videos when they first come up, that just because I have so many more subscribers that joined my channel over the last few months, that anything I release now has way more views than anything I would have released in November or October of last year. And it's pretty crazy, but that's pretty much all my numbers there for the, the whole year, basically. This is kind of a, a, an update of what my channel makes as a small YouTuber plus what it made after a nice algorithm run. It wasn't a million views on one video by any means, but I definitely got picked up by the algorithm and my channel got pumped out to a bunch of people and it grew so much over the course of three months and it's grown so much over a year. And I just wanted to share that with everybody. It's all been worth it. And again, I, I, I'm not making this video to brag about how much money I made. I'm doing it to motivate people and to be transparent because you know, I, I want to have a connection with my viewers and let them know that I'm being honest and showing them, you know, what I make and how I'm doing it. And maybe it encourages someone to try to pursue it. And if they can improve their life by doing it because they saw me share some information, then that's awesome. <laughs> so yeah, with all that said, if you enjoyed this video, if you found it helpful, make sure you hit that like button. It'll help me out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. And thanks for watching.